Hello, it's Mike from Everly Ups and Downs. Just wanted to post a little update. I haven't done one for a long time, but um, I was going to post it last month, actually, which was a year after uh, my uh, trial for the Minimed 640G with the sensors. Um, uh, and it was just a sort of uh, how things are 12 months on, really. Um, and unsurprisingly, um, when it came round to renew my pump, uh, around about Christmas time in December, I did go for the uh, for the Minimed 640G. I had other options that I was considering, but... Um, having uh, lived with one for nine or ten weeks, it felt like I kind of already knew what I was getting into. Uh, so rather than go for something unknown, I went for a 640G. I, I, unfortunately, I can't um, afford the sensors. And I've been living with that for uh, for about nine months now, um, uh, very happily. I still trust it to deliver uh, insulin doses accurately. I still like a lot of things about it. I still think they did really good stuff with uh, some of the interface adjustments they made. But uh, as is often the case uh, with something that you live with uh, day in and day out and, and interact with so many times a day, um, there are just a few things that are, are, are grating, uh, some similar to the ones I posted in my, my uh, best and worst of the Minimed 640G video uh, from uh, just over a year ago. But there were a couple of other things that have occurred to me over the last nine months or so that I just wanted to share. So, uh, so here we go. The thing about an insulin pump is that you wear it all the time. You take it everywhere you go, which means that you interact with it lots and lots and lots of times every day. In any of those interactions, any extra clicks, well, they just feel unnecessary. Much as I like many of the interface changes that they made on the, on the 640G, Actually, I've still got uh, my old Veo knocking about. If I was really frustrated as much as I seem to be by these things, I could have swapped it over. But, um, but as much as I like a lot of the changes they made and the way they made stuff easy to access, there's the, there's the reliance on the center button so much in so many of these menus that you just have to click and double click and triple click. Um, uh, and you just have to get used to that, I think, when you're using the pump. So here's an example. Um, uh, after I have a shower, and once I've disconnected the pump in the morning, I sometimes find that the end of the cannula, where it, uh, it kind of connects, the end of the little bit of tubing, just there, sometimes I get a little bit of um, of air drawing back in there. So, so when I'm reconnecting, I always prime that out. It's usually a third of a unit or so um, to do that. Um, and then so how I would do that is I would go in here like this. There's the menu. Here's the inevitable silly game you have to do there so that's an extra couple of clicks um, you go down here to reservoir and tubing and that's not the new reservoir that's if you were doing a whole new infusion set it's down here for fill the cannula so i only want to fill the cannula please right then it gives me this bit of spiel as an as a description okay fine yep so i have to do that um, and now again it's another bit of spiel and another screen and, and i have to go down click down and click the fill now button and then as soon as I've um, uh, filled as much as I want to, I can I can stop that. So so it's not it's not disaster, but let's just count them up. Okay, so we go one, two, um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight clicks. I just kind of feel like we could have done that in less than eight, couldn't we? Yeah. It's it's like it's like menus for the hard of thinking. It's it's just it's too careful. I think you have to 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 agree things too many times and get presented with information too many times. There are screens on the Minimex 640G where, for all their usefulness, it feels like it's doing things on purpose to annoy me. Let me show you what I mean. So here's one of my favourite bits of Minimed 640G nonsense in terms of the interface. Let me just, um, I've prepared, I think I know what's coming, just to show you. Um, so if I just uh, do this with the contour next link meter. Here we go. Oh, great. Perfect. Really high level. I knew it was coming, actually because uh, I checked it before. But let me just show you then what happens if you go onto the pump. Helpfully, it gives you this warning that your levels are a bit high and you need to do something about it. <clears throat> Useful stuff there that you can do. Um, so you can't clear that um, straight away. 
what you have to do is you have to go down one unnecessary click in order to OK it and get rid of it. That's fine. OK, so then we'll go, yep, I need to bolus to sort that out. Uh, now we need to unlock everyone's favourite uh, nonsense unlocking game. So we'll unlock there. Uh, we'll go into the bolus wizard. Uh, we're not going to have any carbs at this point. It's suggesting a big old fat correction. Um, so I click the middle button, have to click again, click again for next. And now it's telling me again, telling me again that I need, that I need to sort it out. Why does it have to tell me twice? That's ridiculous. So then I have to go down again. I don't know whether it's uh, part and parcel of the of the multiple extra clicking I've needed to do. Um, I don't know whether you can see it. Actually, look at the centre button there. Can you see? Let me just see if I can catch it in the light. Can you see there's a split there just running vertically, just where my thumbnail is? Now, I, I've, I've asked my clinic and they've suggested I contact Medtronic and see whether I need a replacement. Um, in actual fact, funnily enough, the trial pump that I used uh, on my 64 days with the 640G also had a split in just the same thing. It's almost like the this is really heavy traffic, this middle button, because you use it in the menus to, to select things, uh, you have to you have to click once to activate before you can go up and down. You see what I mean? So so you click and then you go down and you click again and you click again. It's it's a, there's a lot of traffic on that middle button, um, and I, I I don't know how common it is for those splits to occur. But with something which is ostensibly waterproof, I, I can't actually believe that that a split like that in the in the casing is is good. So I should be interested to see what they say whether they actually they need to replace the whole pump. That's what nine months old. Um, I expect to get around about a month out of a battery with my Minimed 640G, a regular alkaline battery. Sometimes it's a bit longer, sometimes it's a bit shorter, but four or five weeks is about right. I don't use sensors, um, and so my battery use isn't really heavy. The battery I've got in at the minute is showing about half full, so I'd think I would probably have about a fortnight left. But I've noticed something, it's almost quite alarming, about the battery cap and what happens when you loosen it. Let me show you what I mean. So here we are, here's, the, uh, here's my 640G, um, and uh, as you can see, it's half full on the battery. Um, I don't actually know whether it'll tell me when the battery was replaced. Battery life. Battery life is just listed as being medium. Left. Uh, and then there's the little nifty battery clip here, which I can't quite get out. There you go, like that. And here we go undo the battery um, and then obviously uh, right oh dear no I shouldn't have done that let me just tighten that up um, oh no now look I've got two weeks left of the battery but it's being refused so now ah help um, what can I do I uh, have no battery uh, right uh, pump is in alert state it's all right I, I, I've got one here I've got one here um, I don't, it's, it's uh, obviously it's it's midnight on a bank holiday let me just see, can I get in? Oh, all fingers and thumbs. Oh yes, great, right, it's, it's the right sort. Um, and it wasn't in there long, I'm sure. That, that, I'll try that one again. Um, right, uh, oh no, it's failed again. But it's midnight on a bank holiday and all the shops are shut. And, and this one gives me two weeks left. But except it's got a thing that means, oh, what am I going to do? I find that quite worrying, that you can have a battery that's got effectively two weeks of charge left in it, and yet the pump, if it's not pristine and absolutely fully charged, will reject it. Um, I haven't got myself into bother because of that, but I can kind of imagine the situation where I might if I accidentally loosened it. Um, so it's a, a cautionary note, never loosen the battery cap unless you know you've got a brand new battery if you had a spare one that you were keeping just for emergencies in the car and it had lost enough charge, I suspect the battery check um, would uh, would not let you insert it. So, uh, so yeah, a little bit of a cautionary tale. A little while back, uh, unexpectedly, I got something in the post uh, from Medtronic, which was, uh, which was, well, it was these. It was uh, some replacement belt clips. Apparently uh, there'd been some belt clip failures and they'd worked out that there was a bit of a problem with them. And so they sent some replacements uh, free of charge, very kindly. I don't really know what the problem was that they identified. I think um, maybe they were snapping. 
And I just really hoped when these came through that my big bugbear with the uh, with the belt clip on the 640G would be fixed. The flippy floppy, not really strong enough belt clip. Unfortunately, the springs are exactly the same. So I still am living with a pump that's rather too heavy for the clip that is supposed to support it. Um, and uh, it's it functions, it's fine, but I can't actually clip it onto things in a way that I would like. Uh, it's just not it's not up to the task really. Um, the pump's too heavy and the spring's too loose. So there you go, that was it really, just a few more little gripes and niggles. Overall, I really like the pump still, um, I, I trust it, uh, I get on well with it, but there's just there's always going to be a few things with any of these devices that, uh, that just get under your skin after a while. Thanks for watching, see you again, bye bye. Mm -hmm.